Manila, the metropolitan area of the Philippines, home to a majority of the country's population, and is the center of culture, economy, education, and government of the Philippines. Electronics have been a daily part of our modern life. In the Philippines, a majority of this population are mobile users and the number of these users increase as we speak. But do you know how these electronic gadgets are eliminated or disposed? are the so-called e-weights. So what is e-waste? E-tapos waste as in dumi. Electronic waste. E-waste. Electronic waste? Yeah. Electronic waste. E-waste? Electronic waste. Electronic waste. No. Yes. Ay, parang narinig ko na dahil. Ah, yes. Ay, nagkaroon ko yung waste na. Oo, alam ko yan. Bad. According to DENR, e-waste is defined as waste electronic or electrical equipment that contain toxic substances such as lead, arsenic, and many other toxic components. We've interviewed a couple of people who might just have an idea on how we should dispose our electronic devices. Dati kasi yung mga naging ano na natin, na luma na talaga, ginagawa namin yan, binabaklas na namin yung isa-isa, tinutuha lang namin yung mga piyesa na pwede pa, tapos yung talaga hindi na, yun yung pinaginigay na lang namin. Minsan may mga kwan, ano, may mga repair shop na bumibili para yung ibang parts na pwede pang gamitin, ginagamit nila. So para hindi naman talaga madidispose na, ano, alam mo yung mga Pinoy, pag may pamakinginabangan pa, ano, gagamitin pa. The problem of electronic waste or e-waste in the Philippines is very much linked to the country's garbage problem. In Metro Manila, 6,700 tons of waste is generated by its residents and only 700 tons is either recycled or composted. The remaining 6,000 tons are either dumped at dump sites, private lands, rivers, creeks, or openly burned. You might wonder, are there really formal ways to manage electronic waste? To find out, we consulted a junk shop owner. I have my warehouse for the ano for this crap. Pag ako yun alam sa hindi ba wala siyang public feeding, so pinupulo namin yung mga items na all the all the files na iniisip namin na pwede pang gamitin, reuse sa market. I have my own technical course para recondition yun, reprocess yun at Informal handlers take away parts from broken electronic gadgets which are sold to mga alakals. Dump them together on junk shops or with other normal waste. E-waste first undergoes a process of manual separation. Some use tools to separate e-waste while some e-waste are broken down to retrieve reusable parts. This is the fate of fluorescent and LED bulbs and televisions. E-waste cables or plastic cordings are burned to get the copper. The usable materials are then sold. Majority of the collections goes to the central collection point north of Metro Manila and then shipped to China. Lead, mercury, 
be. Uh, these are toxic chemicals which can cause ill effects to health natin. E-wastes contain many toxic ingredients that can negatively affect humans and the environment. These poisons have been shown to affect biodiversity. Lead is found in TV and computer monitors. Lead attacks the nervous system, can lower IQ, cause miscarriage in women, and is a possible cancer-causing substance. Lead in CRTs can leach over time and contaminate groundwater. Mercury is found in LCD screens, button cell batteries, and CFL lamps. Mercury is another neurotoxin that adversely affects brain and motor function, especially in young children. It also lowers IQ, is persistent and bioaccumulative, and has negative impacts to wildlife as well. Polyvinyl chloride or PVC is found mainly in plastic computer and TV housings and in cable insulation. When burned, PVC releases harmful dioxins and purin, two of the most carcinogenic substances known to man. And the list of poisonous ingredients continue. This is the very danger of e-waste and why it should be addressed. E-waste recycling has its hazards, more so if done improperly. When these are improperly managed, say for example yung mga informal sector, yung waste pickers, when they recover yung mga copper sa, sa wires, they burn yung cables. Na-inhale nila. So yun, nag emit yun ng mga toxic uh, fumes or dioxins and purans. Um, also, pag nagre-recover sila ng mga metals, they use toxic acids. So, wala silang iso, wala silang PPE. Interviews with other local officials confirm that wire burning and e-waste dumping is a widespread problem. Often the case, it also impacts the community that live around or near the dump site. E-waste. It's you know, because in e-waste, uh, it is required by the Department of uh, Energy and Natural Resources to uh, segregate more yung mga toxics. In addition, we asked a DENR representative regarding these requirements. E-waste in the country are RA6969, which is the Toxic Substances and Hazardous uh, Waste Control Act, and RA9003, which is the Ecological Solid Waste Management Act. So RA6969, um, the principle is to handle the hazardous waste, including e-waste, from the source to the uh, treatment or disposal facility. So, if the e-waste is coming, if the waste is coming from the industry, we have a system na dapat yung company na yon you have to register with EMB. Tapos yung transporter um, should also be registered with EMB, and the TSD facility should also be registered with EMB. So, it's a complete cycle to monitor that yung e-waste from these industries are properly treated in a registered facility. Every problem has a solution. We interviewed the representative from Barangay Holy Spirit, Quezon City, which is known to be the first zero waste management barangay in Metro Manila. Yan po ang batas ng aming uh, barangay captain. Uh, may ikwit pong ipinagbabawal na kumuha ng basura na hindi segregated. Bukas sa bahay, dalawang klase lang. Isang nabubulok at isang hindi nabubulok. Yun. Ang hindi nabubulok, dadalin dito. And then garbage collector na po yung magse-separate, magse-segregate, kagaya po ng bakal, lata, bote, yung mga ganun. There are a lot of ways to minimize the increasing amount of e-waste. The Filipinos can work hand-in-hand in, hand in order to terminate the menaces of electronic waste. important is that we should not uh, dispose of this as ordinary garbage as this requires special handling. Change begins in each one of us by being aware of the dangers of the so-called electronic waste. 